If you're out there in Portland and you're having trouble finding affordable housing that you can buy and earn a passive income from, I'm here to help you. I specialize in helping Portland landlords do just that. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here. Today's show from a guy, Melvin. Melvin's an investor from Portland, and I'm going to show Melvin how to get a rental property for less than 20 k what? Some of y'all are like, wait, what? Are my skinny jeans so tight right now that the blood is not getting to my brain? Did this dude just talk about a $20,000 house in Portland? This don't make no sense, bro. Is my chai latte spiked? Is my vegan burger spoiled? Is that what y'all thinking? Look, here's the sitch. Y'all are right. I mean, your skinny jeans are too tight. But I think the blood's still getting to your brain, folks. You cannot find properties that cheap in and around the Portland area, right? Not to mention your landlord tenant policies out there are freaking whack, okay? It's it's like freaking red China out there. But anyway, what happens is people like Melvin, they're like, dude, screw this. I can't afford it. Number one, number two, it's red China, right? They hook up with me, cause I help investors like Melvin help him find properties in the best markets for cash flow investors, right? We look for areas with reasonable landlord-tenant laws, number one. Number two, we look for value. And Melvin, I got a deal for you today. I'm going to show you the market, the property, how it's all going to work, how my team's going to manage the investment on the ground for you, and how you're only going to need to spend like 19 or 19 and a half, somewhere in there, right? It's, it's under 20, bro. Let's take a look. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Under 20K. That's it. Under 20K. That's all we got to spend, right? How crazy is that? Okay? This is the house. And you might be thinking, under 20. This freaking fat guy in a bright orange shirt, he must be make, He must be lying. He must be about to sell me a piece of poo. He might be selling me a turd sandwich. No, nah, man, it's a nice little house. It's a little guy, right? A little smoke, right? A little smoke, by the way. For my uh, West Coast uh, followers, my West Coast viewers out there, this white stuff y'all see, right? San Diego, I'm talking to you. We call that snow, right? We call that snow. We got that out here in the Midwest. But look at this house, right? It's been rented. Is it the Taj Mahal? No, but it's nice. Nice little low-income, blue-collar town, blue-collar house, right? Looking pretty good, right? Pretty nice, okay? And you could pick this thing up for a song, man. Super cheap. It's got everything the tenant's going to need, okay? The locale, 2815. I don't even know how to say this street. Crehor? Crehor? Crehore? I don't know. C-R-E-H-O-R-E. -E. I, I don't know. It's a weird street. I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's in Lorraine, Ohio. And I do a lot of business in Lorraine. This would be the first house on this uh, particular street, as evidenced by the fact they can't even say it. But can anybody really say that? Might have to punch that into a GPS or something. Let uh, the GPS chick tell me how to say it. Anywho, just hit the market. Eighty-three dollars and thirty-three cents a square foot. Priced at seventy-nine grand, folks. Seventy-nine grand. I like this little city, Lorraine. Okay, on a national scale, probably ain't nobody heard of Lorraine. Okay, it's about thirty minutes west of Cleveland. My company, we run the largest scattered site portfolio of its kind in the Cleveland market. When I say Cleveland market, I mean the greater Cleveland, northeast Ohio metropolitan area, right? Not just the city of Cleveland, folks. I know when y'all are like, where are the best cash flow markets? Cleveland pops up. But that don't mean just the city of Cleveland, y'all, okay? The city of Cleveland, it's got like 350, 360,000 people, maybe even down to 340, somewhere in there, right? The area I service, the area my team works, the area Holton Wise does 
your property management, we're looking at like four to five million people, okay? So the city of Cleveland is just a little blip in our overall market. But most people only know about Cleveland, right? Cleveland Cavs, Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Indians, if you're a regular person, Cleveland Guardians, if you're woke, right? That's all people pay attention to. So deals like this, they slip by the wayside, right? think we could pick this thing up at 79 if this was in cleveland itself it'd be worth a lot more right 79 grand is what i think we should pay we'll be able to get a nice either cash paying or section 8 tenant in there at 975 after running the fixed and variable expense estimates assuming my team does all your management all your maintenance all your construction handles your insurance i think you're going to spend about six thousand dollars a month operating this rental property yeah there's cost to operating rental properties folks if you didn't think there was you're listening to the wrong people, people that tell you that your costs are just taxes, insurance, and your mortgage payment. They're lying to you. There's a lot of other costs associated with running rental properties, right? And I tried to give you guys the best illustration of the reality of those costs in every one of my videos. So I think your true profit will be about fifty six ninety four. On average, every year. Some years will be better. Some years will be worse. That's the nature of the beast, right? Now, here's the best part. You only need like 20K, folks. The bank will kick in 59250 and I got lenders if you don't have them. All you got to do is kick in 19750 That should project out to a cash-on-cash cash return of approximately 16%. Oh, and guess what? But wait! There's more, folks! You know what we're doing? When Lake Erie thaws, we're getting two naval bases up here in Lorraine area, okay? Two naval bases. going to be several thousand jobs, okay? You add several thousand jobs to a nice little community like this, you know what goes up? Demand. Yeah. You all know what happened when housing demand goes up. You know what happens, okay? It's not historically an appreciation market, but I'll leave that to you to figure out what happens when housing demand increases. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.